Well, I've never been to Spain But I kinda like the music Well, our congratulations to Dusseldorf on winning this World Driving Championship. Congratulations, Dussel, on your brilliant victory. I suppose you've won them all now? Mm. That's a correct. I have won the Romanian the 50, I have won the Bulgarian the 20, I won the Liechtenstein the 10, and the Minsk 2. You name it, I got the, the trophy right there on the shelf. Uh, well, as the Yanks say, until you've won with a stock car, you ain't won yet. That's what they say? Who says that? Oh, Dale Earnhardt, um, Kyle Petty, all Richard right. Petty, all Mark right. Martin. All right, all right, all right! Tell you what, want to see what driving's all about, huh? You tell those old good boys that the champ is coming over there to show to them his exhaust the pipe. See you in the, the States. The new world champion? That's right. Wow, that must have cost you a bundle. And speaking of which, my driver and my limousine are picking up my good deal at an airport right now. He's being flown into California on my private plane. First time I've ever been on an international flight that they didn't have a movie. <sighs> Claim checker for the luggage. No leather either, so I guess I just did jump. Didn't have no complimentary drinks on the plane. Didn't even have no peanuts. Not, not the one little bag of peanuts. I had a bag of peanuts. Judging from your inquisitive look, you must be looking for somebody. 
Yeah, I'm supposed to pick up this guy called Mr. Dorf. Not this anything? Nah, this guy's got on a red coat and you... Hey, wait a minute. This is you. Mm. <clears throat> I imagine that when the class was voting for most likely to succeed, you must have picked up an awful lot of ballots. You got any more luggage? Just the trunk. I'll get it. Now, this uh, limo that this uh, Mr. Bolas has uh, sent for me, I hope that it's an uh, open one. I want people along the parade route to see me and be able to throw the flowers to me. Oh, don't worry. It's open, all right. Ah, now, this uh, Bolas is a wonderful uh, spender. Sent a model airplane, now a toy truck. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, little boy. I'm Medusel Darp, and thank you so much for welcoming me here to the... I hope you get the warts. Get the luggage and get the dog down the wind. <sighs> Nice. Now, uh, be careful of my trophies. Be careful of, be careful of the trophies that I have in. Be careful of the trophies that I have in the dead. Uh, ah, ah. I kiss those a goodbye. Watch my head on that countertop there. Don't. Uh, oh. May I help you? Uh, the pet the Colonel of Bolas has arranged it for a room for me. Pardon? These are the lips that are moving, butterfly brain, and I would like the key to my room if you don't mind. Of course, sir. What was the name again? Dorf. Comes right after Doozle. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, just a moment here. Here you are, sir. OK, it's about time. I also am having an international press conference, so I'm going to need one of the largest banquet rooms that you have. Of course, Mr. Dorr, I will see to it. All right, all right. This is the last time I'm going to say this. It's one question at a time. Wait till you're recognized before speaking. And if you're from a foreign paper, please state your questions in English, all right? I suppose with the crowd that this big, we should have them take the numbers. We gotta give up the room at 2 o'clock. It's 2.20 already. You want me to start cleaning up now? I think a dustbuster will do the job. Good morning, Sears Point. It's a beautiful morning and a great way to start a NASCAR weekend. Hi, I'm Bruce Landers, and welcome to our first NASCAR Winston Cup race. If you've never seen it before live, you're in for a treat. This is gonna be one heck of a weekend. Plus, Direct from Europe, the world champion, Dusseldorf. Stock car racing's a team sport. It's the pit crew that provides the get-up-and-go in racing. It's Colonel Bolas's hand-picked crew that'll make the difference in the order of finish for him. Dussel, how about telling our folks at home a little bit about your pit crew? Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> I think if you're looking for the A-team, that this one is somewhere around the MNO or a P. Follow me. And first of all, this is uh, the dipstick tailor, as he'll be responsible for seeing that that car just together all the way around for the 300 kilometers. It's quite an organizer. <laughs> I think the name that dipstick certainly seems to fit there. This is uh, Tony Jaboik. Joik will keep that well tuned here of his on that car at all times, and the, just the slightest ping in that engine, he'll be dragging her right into the pits there. He's got the ear of an eagle. Huh? Eagle. I thought it was Puna. And this is uh, Timber Jim. Uh, <laughs> also a very handy guy to have around if you're going to be changing street lights. This is uh, Willie Davis, probably the uh, fastest guy in the pits, uh, changing a tire. 
He can change a tire faster than you can say a Jackie Robinson. Here you go. Good, though. He's had to call my fish. And this is a boom boom. Uh, the colonel said that uh, she's done some wonders for him in the, his lifetime and uh, hopes that she can do the same for the pit crew. She's uh, learning to count laps. She's up at the six. Hoping by the time the race starts, she'll have them all in. Although, don't hold on to much hope. And uh, this is uh, Pops uh, Morgan. He is uh, the crew chief. Uh, he's probably spent more time in the pits than uh, all of the crew chiefs have put together. As a matter of fact, when you ask any of the guys, they always say that Pops is the pits. Well, practice session moving along smoothly here in Sarasota. Look at that, right on the front straightaway. Can you people see that? the car itself what's the colonel decided to put on the track for you mm -hmm. well i haven't as yet seen the car but the colonel has assured me that it's going to be a uh, piece of uh, automotive uh... well the pieces are in place top driver cream of the crop pit crew a lousy car and a greedy owner down in the pit lane right now with harry gant and harry let's get your reaction to dorp as a driver i don't want him around me on the track anywhere all right. Now, if there was a chance that he could get another ride in NASCAR, would you race against him? Definitely not. No way will I race against him. That's a report from Harry Gant in the pits. Kenny Schrader with us in the pit lane right now. And, Kenny, this has been a disaster out on that racetrack. Well, it wouldn't have been so bad, but Darf run about half of us off the place, and the rest of the time he's using up so much track you can't get anywhere around him. Kenny Schrader from the pit lane. No matter where the NASCAR cars run, Jeff Bodine is considered a very serious threat. But at the moment, the threat has been Dorf. And Jeff Bodine, what do you think of Dorf's driving today? Well, uh, no question. Anyone can't drive can't get him out of there. Would you ever think about racing against this man in one more time anywhere? My see. Obviously, Jeff Bodine has some very uh, convincing arguments. Down in the pit area, Mike Waltrip, Dorf got to you once again, didn't he? Yeah, Dorf. Wait till I get my shot at him. That's it, from here. I'm gonna make my way back up to the announce booth. Meanwhile, corner workers, it is now about a half hour before qualifying. Take your lunch break now, you Dorf fans. Huh, you better get his autograph quick before the NASCAR boys running out of town on a ramp. Well, the action here at Sears Point continues in this as you can. You're not going to believe it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stuart Miller, the PR director here at Sears Point, just handed me an official announcement from Budweiser. And Budweiser and the Anheuser-Busch people are going to provide a brand new, very competitive Ford for Dorf to drive. Oh, you Dorf fans, that ought to make you happy. Well, you folks heading down the old highway to Sears Point to the races, here's a little traveling music to go along with you. Country music's favorite singer, Hoyt Axton. Let's give a listen. Jane Dean said before she died there are two more roads that I'd like to ride. Number 27, Rusty Wallace in his qualifying attempt right now. The racetrack belongs totally to him, and he's asking everything of the Kodiak Pontiac. Meanwhile, I've just been informed that Anheuser Bush has required Dort to go back to Bob Bonnerun's driving school. Ah, that's so 
Patrick. Ah. He loved bright lights and good fast cars, women in love and the Hollywood stars. The women moaned and the young girls cried on the night in 89. right now after the qualifying sessions and the legendary Richard Petty. Richard, what do you think about this dwarf as a driver? <laughs> I tell you what, I, I don't know where they got him, but they need to take him back. That's for dang sure. Now, I'm amazed that the man can even keep a car underneath him. You're going to have to baby a car in this race to get clear to the finish line, aren't you? Well, he's going to have to be uh, pretty lucky just to make the race and get everything going, and we're going to have to be lucky to miss it. Are, do you think that's the same thing's going to happen if every world champion came over and tried NASCAR? I hope they don't try it. I'll tell you that. It's a good time for me to retire. Good luck to you in the race. Thank you. We're down in the pit area once again, and I'm with Rusty Wallace and Bob Bonnerant. What about this Dorf guy? You've had to run against him now. Dorf's something else. You know, he might be a, a champion across the pond, but uh, when he entered the United States, he lost all his talent. The guy's just in the way. He's really a pain. Well, I understand he's a graduate of the Bonnerant school, though. Well, he must have been, but when he left the school, I think he forgot everything he learned. Bob, what happened to this guy? Well, you have to want to really be a race driver. Now, this guy is Formula One. I've raced Formula One. I've had the school for 20 years. I've taught all kinds of guys, and Dorf is impossible. I mean, you can teach him, but he doesn't use it. He doesn't do anything with it. Once again, the qualifying sessions are over and the listings are up, and Dorf has turned one of the quickest times. Darrell Walter, you have to find that a bit amazing. Obviously, the guy has money. I mean, he had to buy his way into the field because he doesn't have any ability whatsoever. And I, I think he ought to go back to Europe myself. What do you think about European drivers trying to drive a big NASCAR car? Uh, give me a break. You know, these guys are, well, there's terms for these guys. Uh, this is probably a family show and I wouldn't want to get into that, but uh, he's a What about when the flag turns green tomorrow for the race? Does he know the flags? I think so. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. I doubt if he'll even know what to do. That's a report from Darrell Walters pit area. Welcome to our annual Sears Point International Raceway Banquet. As you know, Sears Point International Raceway is a European-style road course, which is appropriate since our guest of honor, Mr. Dusseldorf, made his fame in Europe. This year, we mm -hmm. are happy to be a part of the Winston Cup NASCAR series. Tonight, I have elected to speak on the exciting subject, the changing of a spark plug. Exciting because what could give you more thrills than to know that that pesky little plug 
that has caused your car's motor to fire out of sync has been replaced. To know that once again, you will hear the constant hum of your car's motor, uninterrupted by that annoying pest known to all of us the world over as a misfire. Bang, 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 click, bang, bang, bang. What to do? What to do? <laughs> Humorous as it may be, we are relieved to know that what sometimes seems to be more than it is, is not. And you're part of what appears to be a record crowd here at Sears Point. Banquet Foods is the major event sponsor. In fact, uh, the race is We're here now with Les Richter, the vice president of competition for NASCAR. And Les, there must have been some kind of a strange loophole. How did this guy get a license? I, I don't know. Uh, Dorf is a great Formula One driver, and, and his record is commendable, but he came over here, he was a total disaster. We're going to review our whole procedure of how we allow drivers to come into Winston Cup racing. That, that's it, and, and uh, uh, he, he's got a long ways to go. Is there ever a chance you'll let him compete again? Well, we're going to have to probably have him go back to some short tracks and, and uh, work his way back in. But he's just a total disaster, and, it, and, and, and we just can't, we can't contend with that, no matter how great he was over there with uh, the, the European. That's the report from Les Richter. We're here with Bill Broderick right now from Unocal, and as many of you know, Unocal is deeply involved in motorsports, especially stock car racing. And right. Bill, you were approached by Dorf and his people, were you not? Dorf approached us, and we immediately ran him out of the office. Anybody who could become in contact with somebody who's so detrimental to the sport as the Dorf, we had absolutely nothing to do with him. We had couldn't. In fact, the question came up: He's going to have gas to run in the race, but since we are the official fuel of NASCAR, we have no choice in the matter. So it's something we have to live with. The Dorf will run on our products. One other thing that I noticed that you do and do quite well, I might add, is you make those victory circles work. The hat dance, all the things that are going on. But what happens if Dorf wins this thing and ends up in your victory circle? Frankly, I doubt if we'll find the Dorf if he comes into victory lane. Right now, we're with Ned Jarrett, not only a former champion and racer in NASCAR, but now currently a television commentator. He's seen nearly every one of these kind of races. And Ned, what is your opinion of Dorf? I've been around the sport of auto racing for more than 30 years, and I have never seen a character like this. I don't know how in the world he got in NASCAR. The sun is starting to break on through and warm this racetrack up, and the timing could not be better. We're just moments away, ladies and gentlemen, from our one brief bit of ceremony. And I'd like to remind you that today, singing our national anthem live will be Mr. Hoyt Axton. I ask you now to please stand. Remember, gentlemen, to remove your hats unless you're in military uniform. And now, Hoyt Axton. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what's so proud?
Nation of the National Anthem. Boyd Axton, ladies and gentlemen, the man singing it. In fact, hey boys, when it's over, let me know, will ya? I can't hear a thing in here. Boys, just, uh, boys. Boys, boys, let me know when that, uh, <sighs> We're down here right now at the pit side, and with me is the gentleman who sang the national anthem today, Mr. Hoyt Axton. And Hoyt, you've been a race car fan for a while, haven't you? Well, I have all my life. What, what brought you out this weekend? Well, actually, I came down today to see Dorf race. I've heard so much about him. Do you think it's true? Do you think he runs hard or what? I think he stands up in the seat. <laughs> I'd like to welcome all of them, and especially their guy crawling the pit lane, my colleague, Jack Aroot. While the attention is focused here at the front of the pack with the names of Rusty Wallace, Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt, etc., the man that may be the sleeper in today's race is the great European racer who's decided to come road racing Winston Cup style. Yes, that's right. Dorf is here to compete, and who knows? He may be a little short on horsepower, but he may go to the front real quick. Look at a NASCAR car. It's a five-point harness, a pair of solid shoulder straps, Ready? and you're inside a roll cage. The steering wheel itself takes the wheel. I want you to hear it. Give me the wheel. Put the wheel on the hood. Just put the wheel on the roof. Do the belt. I don't think this is right. You want to do me a favor? Check the manual on this one. In fact, all of the crews are now clearing the grid. The is having trouble. That wasn't so hard, was it? Boys, aren't we forgetting something? If I'm going to drive, I need the steering wheel. Well, it looks like they've got Hey, let's go! Cool. Listen, I'm, I'm the foot on guy. You're the kickoff. There, there. Just a minute. Thank you. Gentlemen, start your the wheel on. I put the wheel on. Well, it took Dorf longer to know somebody else on the racetrack than I thought it would. But that's one now. Meanwhile, Dorf now has a clear racetrack. He's going to be fired, and he's trying to control the track. Dorf is going to be fired, and he's trying to Pit crew to Dorf. Come in. Repeat. Come in. Nothing. What do you mean the nothing? You told me on the radio to come in. 
I didn't mean come in, come in. I meant come in, come in. I meant come in like on the radio. I don't want to see. I just wanted to hear you. Have you ever talked of lying on a couch and having a doctor see if he could find the brain in that jar had the earth? <laughs> that you folks are real busy out there, but I wonder if I could have a little of water. You guys, let's get him some water for his car. Come on, get a hustle case. He needs some water for his car. Come on, let's get some water for this guy's car. Put it right in there. Put it right in the fuel tank there. Come on, put the water. Uh, don't put the water in the car. I want the water to drink. Water, water to drink. Tony, get him some water to drink. Get a longer stick, I'll be back, all right? Nah, gives me gas. Look out, Jeff Lodine. You're on a collision course with Dorf at the head of the fifth lane. Lodine saves the car, but he's off of the course. This is going to cost him. Just his buster. Get over or get out. One more time. The famous Dorf car comes into the pits. This is a continuing saga now. Give me the water, will you? I got to get in and to get out of here. That's what the pit stops are all about. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Give me that water. Glad I didn't order the hot soup. This is a dwarf to the pit crew. Now listen to me, crew. I'm, nobody checking the gas when I went out. I only got a pint of a gas in here, and the tires are low, and and the glove compartment, the door fell off. Who who checked the door? I told you I have to have that glove compartment door there. I keep my wallet in there. If the door falls off, of how am I going to have my wallet? Let's snap it too. All right, you guys, come on, get the lead out. We gotta help Mr. Dorf win this race. All right, you guys, come on, let's hustle. Get the lead out. Come on, start moving here. This guy, we gotta race to win. Come on, Tony, come on, we gotta help Mr. Dorf win this race. Come on, he's paying us good money here. Let's help the guy. Come on, get him anything he needs. 
I don't see any reason for your people to run around like chickens with their head cut off when I pull in there. Why don't you just ask me what the trouble is and we can get to it? Right. Yeah, it looks like the door to the room for bullets and their same old tricks. We'll try to keep you informed on that. Let so what's the, the problem? The left rear tire. Left rear tire. Tire, left rear. Rear, left rear tire. Tire in the left. Tire, left rear. Rear, left rear tire. Tire in the left. Tire, left rear. Rear, left rear tire. Tire in the left. The rear, the left tire. Don't change the tire just to put air in it. Air, air in the tire. Tire, air. Air in the tire. Tire, air for the tire. Tire, air. Come on, Tony. Come on. We gotta help Mr. Dorf win this race. Come on, he's paying us good money here. Let's help the guy. Come on. Why does it happen to me? Most people pull in, they get the tires changed, they get water, they get the windshield washed, they're out in 18 seconds. I come in here, seven minutes, seven minutes. And they ain't got no air in the tire. Get away from the car, Pops. Put the hood down, put the hood down. I'm going back to racing now, everybody. Goodbye. I'll see you in the wild. These guys do this all over the circuit. Uh-oh. Heads up around the racetrack. The Budweiser car is re-entering the fray and Dorp is loose. What are you doing? How many times have I told you not to get into the car? Didn't I tell you not to get into the car while I'm driving? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, don't feed the cat. I'm not going to take you into the pits. You know how long that takes to take you into the pits? Huh? Right. Uh, what are you doing with the vacuum cleaner? You're sucking on there on the car. Don't clean the car until after the race. Hey, Dennis, can I borrow your vacuum cleaner? Same to you. All right. What an amazing crew these guys have been. Kind of like the Keystone Cops go NASCAR racing. Dork comes to the pits again. And don't get in the car again, I told you. When I'm driving, don't be in the car. Get out. As the bud car rolls to a stop, I... there is a passenger. No, no, no. Pops, don't. Catch that window for you. Don't wash the windshield. Don't wash. Don't leave the windshield alone. You know, this particular oh. outfit is Security just informed me that the Budweiser car blew through the exit at gate seven and is gone from the racetrack. Hello. Hello, dipstick. Hello, dipstick. We got trouble here. We got trouble because I used to be on the pavement. Now I'm on the dirt. That's the trouble we got. Where are we? Try to find me. Try to find me. What? What? What, 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 what? That all you can say is what? What and come in? That's all you say. This is Pit Crew to Door. Pit Crew to Door. Come in. Repeat. Come in. Welcome to Clown Town. Want a circus burger? I don't want this circus burger. I want the Pit Crew. What? Did he say what? Tony wants a super circus burger with cheese. And you want to take Boom Boom's order? How about an order of funny fries? 
Shut up. Everybody, shut up. Two for one on them funny fries. Shut up! I don't want anything! Then get out of here. I hope your nose it falls off. simple-minded friend, put the gas in the tank. I know you're not used to dealing with the logic, but there is a tank in the car for the gas. So why don't we just throw the guesswork to the wind, use the logic, and put the gas into the tank? That gas for you. Ah. about those Dodgers. Timing us with the sundial out here. High test or regular? High test, high test, I want high test. on the free koala bear.
see my turn signal? cars crashed all over this racetrack. I don't think there's any one of them left running. Wait a minute. There's one. It's the Budweiser car. And it's <laughs> This problem over here. We'll probably be with him for at least a half hour. Timing and scoring has some problems to straighten out there, and Dorf's money will be with him. Let's go to Victory Circle. Excuse me, excuse uh, me, yeah. Mr. Dorf. Uh, could you tell us how it is to win another one, sir? Yeah. Well, basically, oh, the way you win one with all the time, you can always win with all the time. Do you want to get me up out of here? I felt that basically that the car ran the rail well. I was just sorry that some of the other guys didn't get a chance to finish, but that's why the best man always wins there. Uh, excuse me. Are those people with you? What people? Ah, get me out of there. Hey, Blimpy. Show me one of those ropes down here. Wait, a I've seen a lot of races, but never one like this one. And I don't know if you can see it out there, but hanging on the memorial line on the Goodyear Blimp is Dorf. And it might be the safest way out of here. Oh, no. Another one of these is Super Saver flights. I'm going to trade them and take it in. The last time I go, coach. Yeah. 